Got some breaking news just to hand. I've got a copy of the uh, National um, Executive Oversight of Reforms for the Victorian ALP. Joining me is our political editor, Andrew Clennell. And Andrew, as was speculated earlier in the day, uh, the National Executive, they're going to meet tonight, but they're going to consider this proposal, which would, if approved, appoint Steve Brax and Jenny Macklin as administrators of the Victorian branch. The administrators are appointed for an initial term extending to the 31st of January 2021. This is the intervention we spoke about, isn't it, that the Victorian right unions did not want, I think, in that they're called administrators. I mean, I heard some speculation the, the General Secretary would lose her job and the admin committee had been dismissed and then I heard speculation that Brax and Macklin would conduct a review as Michael LaVarch, the former Attorney-General, did in New South Wales. This is far more far-reaching if this gets through National Executive, which you'd expect tonight. It is Steve Brax and Jenny Macklin as administrators of the branch on top of the officials. The officials and the administrative committee would then report to them and, and then it talks about the administrators having an initial scoping ref, uh, report on reforms by 31st of July and that they report back 1st of November. And it also talks, I think, about uh, voting rights in the Victorian branch suspended at least until 2023. So all the pre-selections will sail through a national executive. I think Anthony Albanese has been saying, Kieran, that uh, essentially the intention is to ensure uh, the endorsement of all sitting members at the moment. So really, all that work branch stacking, perhaps from both sides, including by Adam Somurek, out the window here, that's what it appears the intention is. Uh, I'm told, we are told the meeting is this evening. Yeah. Uh, there might have been a National Executive uh, Committee meeting, which is a smaller meeting today, but this has taken all day to nut out. I mean, initially today we heard this would be by midday in the morning. It seems like that people were pretty exercised yeah. at the prospect of administrators taking over, but that's what's occurring, it a, seems. A, a federal Labor source uh, from Victoria said to me uh, just a moment ago uh, via a text message that this is massive, that this is mm. going to be a huge reform uh, if adopted and will basically root out any bad stuff happening. And I'd, and when you've got those voting rights suspended until 2023, <laughs> that certainly is a big That's move. a pretty big deal, isn't it? And, and, and anyone with leverage in the, the old system, this uh, the old, you know, system as exposed by the Nine Network on the weekend, well, that leverage is gone under this framework. And I've got to say, with Steve Brax and Jenny Macklin, they've chosen, uh, I think, the, the two of the best... Uh, former politicians, huge respect within the Labor Party, but yeah. beyond it as well, both those individuals have a broad respect uh, within the political community, but the community more broadly. So they're the two right individuals to be undertaking this as well. Both seen as clean individuals. And I think it, it was quite clear that to have them simply conduct a review after this story, it just wasn't going to cut it. You had to have an administrator come into the branch. Obviously, Anthony Albanese and Daniel Andrews have seen that way. They would have worked on this. They would have worked together to produce this outcome. This could cause some anger in the right wing uh, because uh, there'll be a suggestion this is all about empowering the left and there's a perception that's already happened under Anthony Albanese in New South Wales. But you're right, mm. Brax and Macklin seen as two very clean politicians. So publicly, I think this would be reasonably well received. And as you mentioned before, and this report, this uh, proposal says all committees of the Victorian Conference to be suspended, including the Administration Committee, all officials and staff of the branch to report to the administrators, Jenny Macklin and Steve Brack. So this is a huge proposal. Daniel Andrews moved very quickly yesterday. I think he realised this was... Uh, this was a moment to act, to finally clean up their act in Victoria. And this proposal, I think, has got a lot of substance to it because it's right across the board. It's the staff, uh, the, the committees involved. You've got this initial report, the scoping report by July 31, a final report by the 1st of November 2020, and all of which being overseen by Brax and Macklin. Quite right, I just missed that. The Administrative Committee suspended. That's a big deal. That's like your state executive... That's the unions. This is taking the influence away from the unions and giving it all to Steve Brax, Jenny Macklin, the staff and officials to work under them and therefore to Anthony Albanese and Dan Andrews. There you go. This is a bit of a loss for people like Bill Shorten, Kira. Andrew Clennell, thanks on that breaking news. Appreciate it.